Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to San My Shoe now. Autumn has arrived in the city, and we are revisiting the Spice District area. We are going to be renovating a brownstone on Market Avenue that belonged to the lovely Dorothy and Lorena. We're going to make a start today on the main living area and kitchen. So let's get into game and see what we're going to be doing. Happy Tuesday, my darlings, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Hello. How are we all doing today? Let's pause while these two are chatting out the front today. Hello. It's been a long time, isn't it? I'm back now. I'm back from my holidays. Thank you so much for just allowing me to have a little break and some time off. I'm refreshed and ready to bloody roll, sweethearts. Now, I did say we were going to do this as a bit of a speed build, like this whole brownstone here and i was just like where's the fun in that i mean where's the fun in that up there where's the fun in that not only that where's the fun in this look up can we just just appreciate how much stuff is in this market that's floating up over here i don't think i've ever seen so much stuff in all of my life it's like a build and buy review uh, do, can you get any more markets there's a car there is a car floating um above this land Anyway, as I was saying, I just thought it would have been a little bit more fun if we renovate this house together. So you remember Lorena and Dorothy were living over in the apartments over in this area here. I think it was in that building there, actually. Um, so what we're going to be doing, they bought this big brownstone and we're going to be renovating it together. We are going to renovate this together. So we're probably going to be here for a couple of weeks. I just thought this would be a little bit fun. A little bit of fun to do this together rather than just in a speed build. So... That's what we're going to do. The builders have been in. The movers have been in. They have taken everything out that was once belonging in here. Everything has probably been sold to an auction or something, I would imagine. Um, but this is what we're going to be dealing with today. So I've got a few ideas. I've got a few ideas on what I want to do with this place. I think down on this level here, I'm going to open this all out. We're going to have like a living room here, a kitchen and a dining room moment over here. Still going to keep this bathroom where it is. I uh, don't know what we're going to be doing with this just yet. I think I want to like put some windows across here and make it modern. I don't want to extend out. The style that we're going to go for throughout all of this is going to be a little bit more industrial. That kind of vibe. A bit more refreshed than the kind of Victorian-esque look that we've got at the minute. I do want it to be a little bit more modern, but I don't want to take away too much from the feeling of this being a brownstone. So I'm not going to change the wallpapers and stuff. I might put some new windows in. I've got an idea for some windows that will still keep it looking very brownstone, but it would just give it a little bit of a refresh, I think. I also want to do some kind of like double office for these ladies because they're very high up in their careers. So I just think having a, an office for both of them together would just be really, really nice. Down in the basement level, I'm thinking about having some kind of pool, like a swimming pool down here with maybe like a little indoor spa for them. I'm kind of feeling that vibe. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm even debating on having a lift in this house. These two are getting on in years, so they might not be able to use the stairs. Like, And that was the result of the last lady who lived in here as well. She had to sleep down here because she couldn't use the stairs anymore. And these two do not want that to happen to them. So I might do a lift or an elevator, whatever you call them, wherever you're from, and put that in the house somewhere. Um, going up to the other levels so we'll see we'll see it's not going to be working but i just think for storyline purposes it would be absolutely fucking wonderful so i'm going to do it i am as i said what we're going to be working on today is this level down here so we're going to just strip back this but we're also going to be working on the exterior a little bit i'm going to take off quite a lot of the detail i think i think i want to strip this back a little bit more uh, and put some new windows in so that's what we're going to do we need to get rid of all of the stuff they've got all of their suitcases and stuff here it is autumn in the game as i said the leaves are starting to change it's autumn in real life and um, so i put up some pumpkins and stuff just to you know just decorate it up a bit but that's what we're going to do so let's flop on over to the build mode and let's start renovating this place so here we go, my darlings. I'm going to make a start just by getting rid of all of this. We don't need this anymore. The The moment has been had. We know they're moving in. So let's get rid of all of these like little boxes and stuff we've got going around here. Yes, indeed. And then we're going to bish bash boosh some of the details off of the house and just bring it back to a nicer level, to be honest. And then we can catch up, can't we? So hello. Oh, it's, it feels very weird being back building. Um, it's, I say this every time I go away, but every time I've been away a period of time and I come back to building and speaking to myself on camera, it just feels very strange. But again, 
very natural at the same time. Um, anyway, here we go. But this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to bish bash boosh everything out of here. Do I want to start on the garden yet? Yeah, probably. Let's get rid of all of the, the old stuff in here. They're going to get some new flooring. Or maybe just like revitalize this brick out here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the stairs for now. Because I want to do a little bit of a decking moment out here as well, I think. So we'll see what happens when that actually comes in. Yes, we will. Um, but hello, autumn is thriving. It's here, isn't it? Even though it's still quite warm. It's still quite warm in the UK. Um, where I am anyway. Um, I'm thriving. It was pissing down with rain the other day when I took Daisy out for a walk. Absolutely pissing down with rain. She was absolutely fuming about it, but I was in my element because I'd been a very warm country. I had a lovely time under Zakynthos. It was beautiful. Um, definitely would visit again. 10 out of 10. Maybe not the weather. There was a few days where the weather was a little bit shit. Um, a little bit cloudy. We had a few storms. Even our like emergency alerts came through uh, on our phone because of, a st because of a storm that was coming in. And we were staying right up in the mountains in this little villa um, that you probably saw on my Instagram. It was beautiful. It was only built in August and it was it was absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to be building that. You'll see that on Friday. You'll see that on Friday. A little cheeky speed build coming on Friday for it. Um, but yeah, I had a lovely time as always in Greece. I always have the best time. I really do. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that old um, aircon unit. Um, we're going to develop this a little bit further. I don't know whether to get rid of these just yet. So I'm going to leave them as they are for the minute. Now the window I had in mind was the one from uh, high school years. This one here. I just think this would make it just look a little bit fresher. But look, make, still make it look classic. Like a classic brownstone. But it's just got some lovely new windows on it. You do have, like, these don't allow the gameplay aspect of these where you can climb out the window. But I think it could work. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to flop these all the way around to here. And just copy exactly where we put them last time. They are a little bit lower than the rest of the houses. Um, but I don't really care. Don't really care about that. Not going to bother me in the slightest. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Let me just get two more on and then we're going to make a decision. And I would like... A new front door as well. Yes, yeah, see? Exact same house, but it's just give it a bit of a fresher vibe. And I'm very much for that. Um, door in question. Do uh, I don't know if I want to go modern with the door or kind of classic. Hmm. Choice of two. One from University and the other one from Strangerville. Strangerville. Uh, I like this one. I like the width and the kind of size of this one. Uh, it is a little bit of a lighter brown, but I still think it kind of matches in with the aesthetics quite nicely. <sighs> or should we just bring everything back, get rid of you and go for this one here? I think that one. I think this one here is a little bit more what I wanted. So that's what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. Now, before I put the windows in all of the other side of the house, I want to break some of these walls down. I do want to break some of these walls down. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to break all of these all the way along like this uh, obviously getting rid of those floating sconces as well because that would be very silly bum to leave them there uh you you and you and you and these here as well what else have i got coming up on the channel this week oh gonna be doing a another google earth build we're gonna be in the new england area of the us so we're gonna make it very autumnal very warm so that is what's gonna be happening yes it is yes it is I'm going to get rid of these sconces because this isn't the vibe that we're going for in here anyway. So probably want some new doors and stuff in here too. Um, this is a nice big space. It really is. We need a brand new kitchen. I might try and use the new uh, Chef Hustle kitchen pack. Thank you so much to EA for giving me that code, by the way. I was away, so I couldn't check it out properly. <laughs> um, but yeah, might, maybe we can fit that in here somewhere. What, what am I doing in the kitchen? Like around here, like on this side here. I'm not going to do platforms like I did in this here, this um, house, the, this kind of like goth house. We're going to keep it very um, flat all the way through here. Just very classy. Very classy indeed. Okay. Okay. That's going to be a lovely size, that. That'll be an absolutely wonderful size. So what I need to think about now is wallpapers. I'll get the rest of the windows on. Um, and... We'll make a start. 
Okay, it's all been stripped back. So this is the kind of vibe we're going to go for. Polished concrete flooring. I've also put the polished concrete on the ceiling as well. I think that'd be a nice vibe. Um, exposed brick. I changed out the fireplace here as well. And I thought against doing a lift in here. Now, I know it would be great for the storyline, the kind of realism uh, of like this older couple moving in, but it just doesn't fit anywhere nicely. And I'd have to change the stairs and stuff. It would be a nightmare. It would be an architect's nightmare. So we're not going to do it. We're not doing it. Uh, that is the decision I've made. And we're just going to have to deal with it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put in this uh, fence. Fence. We're going to put in this foundation across here. We're also going to copy it in with the same one. It's going to be exactly the same. Or shall I do something new? Shall I do like a little bit more of a, a flatter grey vibe? Mm, I think we should just go back to what we had, which was that this one. We'll go back to that one and just say that they blended it across, maybe. Uh, we're going to use this same uh, brick. I'm going to use this all the way down here. Unless, actually, I could use the, the stone from Batu, couldn't I? That would look nice here, a little bit fresher. <sighs> yes, but then it just doesn't blend well with the foundation. That does. So we'll keep this. We'll keep this one here and put this on the top here as well. Now, I've had a thought with this. I've had a thought. We're going to get rid of this drain pipe, I think. We're going to get rid of the drain pipe. There is a drain pipe around to the side here, so that should be okay. We're just going to get rid of the one at the front here. Or the back, sorry. Just because it just doesn't work with the aesthetics that I want. Um, And I've had thoughts here. I think using the windows that came with that gardening pack would look smashing along here. Uh, The dark black ones, see-through, yes. Oh, that doesn't look great with the trim, though, does it? Can I do the smaller one instead, then? Let's have a look. Oh, I like that. That's the vibe that I want, that, like, black iron window. And I didn't think the short height was going to look good in here, but I actually do quite like it. I do quite like it, so I'm going to absolutely leave it. Okay, fabulous. So what I want to do here, I want to put a half foot across on this bit here, just to add a little bit more privacy to this area. Maybe want to take it down a couple to about there. Lovely. And then... But in the glass moment on this bit here so they can still see out because the view from here is really lovely just so they can still see out from that area we do need to go one more with the half wall there we go and then maybe i could just use the same brick all the way along there as well like that and change the trim color uh do i need to move you i'm gonna get rid of this one completely i think yeah I'm going to get rid of this completely. Yeah, that should be fine. There. <laughs> Whatever. Um, moving on. So, yeah, I think that's nice. We're going to put some stairs here. And we'll use those grey stairs. Um, is it these ones? Yes, it's these ones. We're going to use these and flop these just off to the side here like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, that'll be cute. That'll be cute. A little, like, breakfast moment here over, like, a... A chair a um, couple of chairs and a table i think that could be kind of cute yeah we'll do a banister there as well obviously but for now we're gonna get into the interior so i really want to change out the stairs i love the way that this is kind of knocked out from underneath i'm just gonna save my game because every time i've overlapped stairs my game crashes for some reason so hopefully it doesn't do it today it's not done it the last few times i've done it so here's hoping Here's absolutely helping. Where's the ladder-like stairway? That's the one that I want. This one. Yeah. It's in the dark. No, not that. Is that really that warm? Oh, it is. Maybe not you then. This one? There we go. That's a bit better. I ended up using the one from Island Living instead. So it's still quite warm, but it just... You can see right through them. And I think that just opens out that space even more then. Absolutely thriving with that idea. Now, they're going to go for a little bit more of a grown-up look in here. Where's my bloody fireplace gone? My fireplace has disappeared. Is it back in here? No. How dare it. Um, I'll get it back out. We're going to go for a little bit more of a grown-up look in here. In their apartment, it was very bright, very like loud and stuff. This one was going to be a little bit more muted down, but still with touches of their personality and stuff everywhere. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a nice modern fireplace. Anything else that could work in here? Not really, no. Not um, without using custom content anyway. I think that one there would probably suffice a lot better. Okay, yes. And I might want to mix it up with a little bit of panelling in here or something. Don't know just yet. 
So let me go ahead and grab some sofas and things and we'll make a bloody start. Okay, so I've pulled out a few little trinkety bits here. So I'm going to go for these lights here, the ones from Get to Work. I've sized them down. They're very industrial. I think they're going to hang really nicely all the way down here. So we'll do another two more in the kitchen and dining area. But I think this sofa, this little rug, as I said, I still want to play around with a little bit of color here and there. But predominantly, I do want this to look very industrial. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, you are fucking dude. So what I want to do is flop you over into this corner here like this. Lovely table from the book nook. I think this would be perfect in here. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm going to put this maybe back a little bit more, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll flop another one here like that. Wonderful. I'm not going to do a TV in here. I'm probably going to do a TV up in the bedroom. We'll do like a media room or something upstairs. Uh, I think this would just be a nice place for them to come and chill. I thought this little leaning um, art little moment would be nice. We have got various paintings in here as well. That's wonderful, that one. Um, we have got various paintings in here that Dorothy has done. Dorothy or Lorena? I can't remember which one is the artist but or the art critic. But, or the art lecturer. They're one of them. I've made far too many characters and I keep getting jumbled up. And I've been on holiday. So you're just going to have to let me off. We're moving along. I think these curtains here would be smashing in here. This is these are the new curtains from that um that Lux pack. I can't remember what it's called. Um I've also had a little check out of the new uh kitchen or the chef hustle pack and I'm I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the style of the kitchen. I think the style of the kitchen is probably the best kitchen the sims 4 have done um but i really don't like the swatches <laughs> i really don't i think they could have done like a natural wood tone with the swatches or something like there's just something missing from them um uh, but i do think the kitchen itself is absolutely just smashing not played around with gameplay yet either uh so i do want to check out the gameplay this week at some point so keep up to date and i'll let you know exactly what i think my loves um, so yeah, anyway, these curtains here, smashing all the way along. Where's the next one? There we are. If I can flop you into, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to pay attention to the curtain rods too much, are you? But I'm so glad that they're starting to do this kind of thing. Taking a lot of uh, inspiration I would gather from custom content creators and thank the absolute stars above that they are because it's needed it really is yeah that's cute i like that obviously this isn't finished i do want to add some details and stuff in here i thought these sconces would work really well if i can bring these sconces out and put them either side and then maybe we could get a painting up here that one's great but it's just a little bit too small it's a little bit too small i don't really like the size of it there it needs to be a bit more of a substantial sized painting there we go there we go absolutely gorgeous we'll keep that one up there <laughs> beautiful so i'll find a painting there don't you worry we'll find a painting to go up there yeah nice indeed absolutely gorgeous indeed so kitchen i know we haven't finished with this yet i'm just trying to map out the the size and the space of everything so we're going to play around with the kitchen first a little bit i think so i'm thinking this is what i would like to use will this work will this kitchen work with this place oh not really i don't know why that is not filling me with vibes and i'm very sad can we go black with it instead what if we did just like a whole black moment in here that could work that could work a lot better actually okay yeah i think we're gonna do that so we're going to do a kitchen, probably a, quite a long kitchen along here. And then we can get a dining room table on this point here. I think that's what I want to do. So I wouldn't mind separating off these, not like fully. You'll see what I'm doing now. I'm going to do this and this. We're going to get some of these spandrels, uh, if, if that's what they're called. I can't remember. It's been, it's been two weeks. <laughs> it's been two weeks and I'm old. Um, there we go. You and you. Let me see this. Oh, yes. Yes, that's done something. That's done something to me. Not much, but it's just give a feeling of separation, which is what I wanted. I'm not going to do any pillars or anything down by it, but I think this is the vibe. Okay, so I need to think about a little layout here with the kitchen. Okay, this is what I've done so far. I, I thought it'd be fun for us to kind of figure it out together. Um, I'm thinking... 
Do I want to do cabinets all the way along? I think I do, you know. I think I want to do these cabinets all the way along here. Oh, I do like them. One thing that did bother me with these cabinets, I am going to get bitchy. I don't care. I don't care. I'm only being truthful. One thing that I didn't like with these cabinets is this corner piece here. It was shelves. And I just... Why couldn't they have just done a corner piece rather than having this like shelf moment? It really bothered me when I saw that. I don't know why. Um, It just did. It absolutely bothered me. Oh, I'm not sure about the cupboards in here, you know. I think shelving would probably be the ba the way to go. Yes, here they are, look. So these wonderful shelf pieces. I think that is very... Yeah, I think this is going to be the way I want to do it. Um, so I'm going to do shelves all the way along. Maybe not to there. No, do you know what? I am going to bring it all the way along to there. Yeah, definitely shelving and definitely windows above it as well. Let's get the windows in now while we're here. We may as well. Uh, I'm going to use the base game, Saviour. After they've released all of these swatches, this window has just been an absolute saviour for a lot of builds of mine. Uh, and I'm very much for it. I think I'm going to do it one, two, three, four, five and six i don't think i'm gonna do a seventh am i oh no i am i'm gonna do a seventh there yes nice because that's still gonna flood it with light but it's still very private enough where people can't peer in um and i'm kind of thriving with that and they also very excitingly i've got a new extractor fan and i was very moist when i saw it um oh and it doesn't come in a black of course it doesn't of course it does not and that, my loves, is exactly why I didn't like the swatches. Because it's just the Sims, isn't it? To be honest. Maybe we need to get rid of that one there. I mean, that one still works, but it's not black. Very... Like... <laughs> I want to know their thought process. Because if I was sat in that meeting room when they were doing that, I'd be like, we need that one in the black. They'd be like, no, let's just do it in like a, a really like faded pooey brown colour instead. Honestly, I swear to God, sometimes, and I am not even religious. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, well, that's put a big flappy fanny in the fucking spanner in the spanner in the spanner works, isn't it? <laughs> that made no sense then, but I'm going with it anyway. <laughs> Absolutely going with it anyway. Should I get rid of this? Am I just using that because it's new? And just go for ye old faithful and get in the... The one that comes from the ceiling. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you know. Will that fit in there okay without it overlapping the window? Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? For that. I am absolutely for that. That kind of adds to the kitchen as well. So, screw you and your extractor fan that doesn't come in the black, to be honest. That's very... Does it need to be lower? Is that the one? Are you the one? No, it doesn't. No, that is the height. Okay, just looks very high. Anyway, never mind. So, as I said, let me... Um, we're going to do a dining room table in this area, but I need to find a few little things. Uh, so I'll go and do that, and I'll be right back. And these are the tables and chairs that we're going to be using, the ones from Harry. I'm um, going to do them in white. going to do them in white because I just wanted a little bit more of a fresher pop there because we've got a lot of black here, and we've got like this kind of whitish sort of sofa. I just thought of pulling a bit more of that over there would work, and it does. It does. You probably also saw that I changed out these doors. I think I'm going to use these kind of classic doors throughout the house. I just think it works really well. But they are very much into kind of Nordic vibes. Scandinavian Nordic vibes, love. So that is the mantra that we are going ahead with today. Yes, it is the uh, I'm going to flop this one into here. I think I'm only going to do one of these lights in this room. I think two would be a little bit overkill. And then what I can do is pop two of these down on this side here get rid of you like that and have that kind of moment there did you just hear that that was an inside burp that crept out then i'm very sorry if you did hear that um my apologies but you know we're human we all burp and fart well not me i'm gay um but that is the vibe oh that is not oh, i don't want to pull that any closer to there that's too close to the oven too close to the oven so what i'm going to do is move you across it doesn't really matter that it's not in line with that one there. Does it? No, 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 it's fine. I can see past that. That's okay. It's okay, Aiden. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, my love. But I'm kind of feeling that. I think that looks very nice in there. Very classy. Um, We're going to concentrate under here now. 
I want a little book nook underneath the stairs here. I reckon they're both very much into reading. Um, so I think what I want to do is pull in some of these. Oh, I love the colour coordination there. That's that's making my Virgo heart very happy. So I think I want to do one of those there. And maybe this one here. Because that's almost semi-colour coordinated as well. Yes. But I don't like I think we should go up a little bit higher on the one side, maybe. Yes, I like that. That's very nice. And then a little armchair and a, a side table underneath of here. Uh, armchair wise, why don't we, hmm, why don't we use, not this one, where's the other one? This one here. Do you come in a, let me see. I mean, you're a little bit brighter than, than the sofa, but I think I might be able to see past it. Yeah, I can. I can see past that. I'm going to look right past it and pretend that it doesn't exist. Um, I'm going to flop you to there, like that. Tuck you right into there. You don't want to be too close to the stairs. I can imagine Lorena and Dorothy bonking their noggin on that. And we don't want that for them. We really don't. They're too nice. They're such lovely people that we don't want that to happen. <laughs> what am I saying? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, am I going to continue on with it? Yes. Yes, I am indeed. Um, this one? Oh, yes. I'll flop you into there. We need some kind of light source under here. And also like a lamp and stuff behind this sofa area. Um, what other light sources have we got here? Oh, what about the one with like the sage and stuff on it? That would be their vibe. Where's that? Oh, here it is. Yeah, we'll flop this one here. And pop you into there like that. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Yes, I'm very much feeling the aesthetics underneath of there. A little bit minimal, this place, but I'm kind of going to go with that. I'm going to go with that quite nicely. I really am. I'm feeling a plant coming on over in this corner. I'm thinking maybe using that collection. That collection. This one here. Uh, do, do we use it in the light? Oh, it does look nice in that colour over there. I bought a new plant yesterday. Thank you for all helping me name her on Instagram. She's called Pam. She is a parlour uh, is it a parlor palm? Yes, a parlor palm. Um, and she is on my landing because I did have a plant there that may or may not have died. Um, she was not feeling the light that was coming from there. And I was selfish enough to keep her there uh, until she withered away <laughs> because of aesthetics. <laughs> and that, my loves, is the truth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we do need a side table behind here, but I'm unsure if this is the right one. Let me see it in the darker. Oh, that does look nice in this room. Oh, that does look really nice in this place. What about if I put it over here instead? Bring a bit more of that darker vibe and put it there. No, it doesn't suit that. Um, oh, do you know what? It kind of does. You know what? I think I'm going to put it there. Do you all want to put a side table underneath there? No, no, I don't. I absolutely do not. I'm thinking I'm just going to put a plant there instead. Put a plant there instead. Now, I was hoping to get this finished today, but I don't think we're going to. So I think we're going to have to carry this on until tomorrow. Um, So that's what we're going to do. And I am pre-recording, so I'm going to go straight into recording um, tomorrow's video as well. So I'm not going to change my t-shirt. Can't be asked. So um, where is my ye old faithful of plantage? Um, I know you're here somewhere. There she be. And then flop this one into this area here. Is that going into the curtain? It's, there we are. Oh, yes. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely indeed. So we've made a start. We made a start on the exterior. I still have got to put all of the windows and stuff in. But until I figured out a floor plan and stuff upstairs, we're just going to keep it as it is for the minute. I do want to change this banister as well. I'm thinking about putting a glass banister on here. So let's finish off with that today. Because I'm thinking just a little bit more of an updated vibe in here. With a glass banister. Unless we use this instead. Oh, I do like that in here. Oh, I do like that. Yes. Can we try like a white? Let me see what a white would look like. Oh, I like that. What about a little bit semi-softer? There we go. That one. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a vibe. That absolute vibe. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it for today. We've made a lovely start, I think. We've made a lovely start on this place. 
we'll be back with this tomorrow we're going to continue on with this tomorrow and depending on how much we get done um i think we're going to go out into the garden we're going to go out into the garden and get the garden sorted so we'll we'll be finished with this whole level here um and that's a vibe that's a vibe in itself it's wonderful to be back leave me some lovely comments down below you gorgeous buggers i've missed you um and that's it thank you so much for watching see you tomorrow